Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to give you one more reason Breakdance is better than Elementor, and that is our superior global button styles. So in Breakdance, if you go to the global settings, let's open them up right here, and you go to buttons, you'll see you control global settings for both the primary button and the secondary button. For most websites, they have two types of buttons. They have a primary call to action, and then they have buttons for other things. Usually, you only, you only want one of these on a page, maybe two, like one in your top header, contact us, then maybe one in like a call to action section on a page, contact us or buy the thing, whatever it is. And the, all the other buttons are secondary buttons. Breakdance by default, secondary buttons are outlined. Primary buttons have more visual weight, they're solid. Of course, you can customize that. Let's take a look at Elementor as a global button style. So here we have a button. You can choose your type of button, but these styles can't be really, you'll see what I mean. Let, let me go to the global styles here. So we'll go to site settings. And then let's go to buttons. There's only one button style that you can customize globally here. So let's let's customize it. Let's just say we're going to make all of our buttons gradient buttons. I'll make, I'll make it purple and then pink. And let's, let's change the angle here so it looks better. Okay, so here we've set this up for all of our buttons. That's cool. And here are the available options. We can do the same in breakdance. We go to primary, background. We could choose, you know, linear, radial gradient. And let's rotate that and yeah, we can make that, you know, purple. We can make this more um, pink. Same idea. But we also have the secondary button, which we could also customize. Elementor, you don't have that. So let's add another button to the page. If you want to make an outline button, you have to customize the button on an individual basis. So here we're going to go classic background. And you would think you could just set the color to whatever you want. Unfortunately, the gradient is overriding that, and that's just a technical thing because gradients take more priority in CSS. So you actually can't get the gradient off this button unless you actually make the button background type a gradient. And then if you wanted to get rid of the gradient entirely, you would make your two gradient colors transparent. So that's the solution in Elementor once you set up a gradient for your buttons globally. That's pretty annoying. Okay, let's add add the text color back in. So here, let's add a uh, text color. Um, and then let's just set a, a border on those buttons. So let's just do border type solid. And we can just make it two pixel, two pixel width. Uh, and there we go. We've done it. But you can imagine if you had a website with 100 buttons, and a button is a very common website element, how tedious it would be to remove the gradient from every single button by changing background type and then setting the colors, both gradient stop colors to transparent. Whereas in breakdance, you just have your secondary button styles. You can make all of your secondary buttons outline buttons. Let's just go to secondary. Let's make them outline buttons. Let's choose a purple color and two pixel width and voila. Now we can go to button and we can make a button primary or secondary. And if we want to make it a custom button, we just make it custom and it doesn't inherit this gradient that we would then have to override for every single button. Anyway, that is a huge time saver in breakdance. You're going to be spending a lot of time in Elementor.